Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, law of attraction, and all of that juicy goodness. In this video, I'm going to share some of my favorite lines that I like to use when I'm writing out my manifestations for a dream partner. So a lot of times in my coaching sessions, in my readings, I get a lot of people who grew up in a home where there wasn't unconditional love, where there wasn't true love. So they're not quite sure, you know, what it looks like or what they should ask for so that they can have true fulfillment in their lives. So I'm going to read off a list that I made a while back. And it was something that I was calling into my life with my partner. And I thought I would share it and maybe it will help all of you. So you can sit back, close your eyes, take a deep breath, hand on your heart, hand on your belly, and just receive these messages. Whatever I say, if it hits home for you, just keep listening, but then rewatch the video and pause it at the moments so that you can jot down the certain lines that you want to use to call in your partner, your new partner, or to call your existing partner to level up and start doing the things that you're asking for. Okay, here we go. I'm going to read you guys my list. I am so grateful now that I have a partner who pays attention to me when I speak, who wants to do things for me to alleviate my suffering who shows up consistently for me, who honors their word, who is always wanting the best for our partnership, who understands there are three aspects of our partnership, them, me, and the universe. And the universe represents us two together as a trio with the universe. We, and I wrote, we are a trio working together, meaning we manifest together, we pray together, we go places and ask for parking spots together, we manifest money together. That's what I mean by, by using um, the partnership as like a third party. So there's him, there's me, and then there's this third aspect where we work together with the universe. Okay. I am so grateful now that I have a partner who nurtures their connection to their intuition, who is always willing to listen to me, who is present when I talk, who treats me like I'm the most important thing in their world, who takes time to think before speaking to make sure their words aren't hurtful, who is patient, who is kind, who is considerate of our family's needs, who is willing to grow with me, meaning read books, podcasts, wanting to level up and just always be consistently um, growing and wanting to be the best for themselves, not for me. Um, okay, where'd we leave off? Is willing to grow with me, is willing to be adventurous and spontaneous, is willing to co-create with the universe with me, is willing to release any abundance blockages with me and our family. So my partner is going to be going to need to be okay with me having post-it notes and pieces of papers taped all over our home with me manifesting like I do in my life right now. They're just going to have to be okay with it. And I want them to join. I want them to write their list and we can do it together. Is willing to face his or her shadow, the parts of themselves that might not be pretty is willing to see my shadow and not judge me for it, my jealousy, my anger, my frustrations. They allow me to work through it and see why I am repeating these patterns so we can remove it for me and for them. A partner who is always wanting the best for me, who cherishes every inch of my body and would always, always, always honor it and protect it who values my vulnerability with my body, who respects, and what that might look like if you want to write this down, is somebody who, when you're intimate with them, they are so conscious and aware of that you were just open and you opened up your heart to them, you opened up your body, and they honor that by responding after an hour, or two hours after being intimate, or maybe the next day, and showing gratitude for that heart opening experience, for you opening up your body to them, they show gratitude. That's huge because you do not want to be with somebody that just takes from you and then doesn't show gratitude or doesn't appreciate you. 
So you got to make that clear in your list. Somebody who respects my willingness to be silly and completely playful without judgment, wanting me to have fun at all times of the day, wants me to rest as much as I can, who trusts me, trusts my intuition and doesn't smush it and tell me that my feelings are too sensitive or, you know, if I have a gut feeling about the worldly issues, they're not going to tell me you're crazy. That's not going to happen. I need somebody that's going to listen to me. So if you feel that same way, make sure you write it on your list. Okay. I have, I'm so grateful now that I have a partner who encourages my endeavors, sees me in my joy and thinks it's sexy wants me, wants me to feel sexy for me, wants me to express myself and my quirks, loves my quirks and doesn't tell me to not be that way. Somebody who accepts all of me, who sees me, who validates me, wants to listen more even when they've had a bad day. Somebody who knows their boundaries and always sets them. Somebody who honors their self-care routine they honor my self-care routine. They understand that I take care of me for us. They know their body and what it needs. A partner who understands the purpose of life, which for me, it's service and unconditional love, who lives from unconditional love, is honest always, is willing to be vulnerable, is willing to take leaps of faith with me, like if we wanted to move to another state or if we wanted to buy a new home that was like, everybody was telling us not to do it. I would want a partner to be brave with me and say, yeah, let's see what the universe does for us. Let's see how it shows up for us. Is excited to live life each day. Is wanting the best for our children. A partner who is free flowing and not trying to control our lives. Someone who is always wanting the best for strangers. Someone who's always seeing the good in others someone who is not always in a rush to get somewhere. They take in the small moments of the day. Someone who is shining bright, even without speaking. Their presence is just bright. Someone who loves themselves and values themselves. Someone who values me and my love for myself. Someone who finds my love for me sexy, meaning me and my self-love, they're turned on by that. And then I have at the end, I'm so grateful now that I have a partner who is just right for me. So that's the end of my little list. So I hope my list inspires you to create your own list and think about all the ways you want to feel in that partnership. Think about all the adventures that you want to go on and how do you want that person to be with you on those adventures? You know, if you're in the car with somebody and you're wanting to listen to music or a podcast, like think about it. Do you want a partner? that is going to be free flowing and allow you to listen to whatever you want to listen to, you can manifest that. You can start conjuring up this beautiful human that matches all of that. You are worthy of it. We're all worthy of calling in this deeper sacred union where you too are just traveling through life, dancing, having fun. When hiccups and problems arrive, you talk about it. You are conscious partners where you face each other, you say, Hey babe, this happened to me today. And I had such jealousy. <laughs> I had such anger. Can you help me work through this? Can you help me not feel like, like this anymore? Or maybe their patterns are triggering you and you can tell them about it. Be like, Hey, when you pull away from me like this, it frustrates me. Can you, can we work on being more open with each other and saying, Hey, I need space before just taking space. So those are the things you have to work through and figure out what you want to call in before you find yourself in a partnership or in a marriage where you're like, man, I didn't think this through. I didn't really like imagine what I really, really wanted and what would really make me happy. So making a list like this, you're telling the universe exactly what you want and it will go out and it will find you a partner who is already living their life in this way and they're going to bring them to you. I hope you like this video. I hope you like that list. Comment below. Let me know if you're making your list. Let me know if there's anything I can add to my list. I would love to hear your recommendations and like, subscribe, share this video with someone who you think might be desiring a partner and they're not sure what to call in. Share this list with them because we were not all taught what unconditional love looks like. And for me, that list represents 
a bulk of unconditional love. There's so much more I could add, but I kept it small because I didn't want to make this video too long. So I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful night.